Hey everyone, welcome to GJ Bricks, I'm Greg. Now, I'm going to do something I haven't done for a while, and that is a city update. Um, I will start by saying I'm sorry I haven't done one for a while. I was making good progress on the city, um, but I've had some health issues recently, which has meant my Lego building time has been massively reduced. Uh, I just keep getting sicknesses, I blame my kids. Uh, no, seriously, if you're kids with young kids, you've got bugs, you just forgot how to deal with uh, and it's just been knocking me for six I've had no energy to do anything so I've been trying to stay on top of my channel you'll notice there's been some periods where I haven't uploaded anything I haven't been doing live streams I'm trying to get back on top of that I'm feeling much better even though I've had a fever this week as well <laughs> anyway so Studsburg hasn't progressed as much as I would have liked it to um, but I'm gonna fix that one I'm gonna talk about what I have done what I'm going to be doing and how I'm going to make sure I keep it going regularly which is probably going to be something along the lines of every two weeks I will do a city update if I haven't you feel free to email me and give me stick because I deserve it for letting my citizens down on that one uh, anyway let's move into this uh, first of all I'm going to start with opening a letter from a friend of mine who sent me his minifigure we'll do that one and then I'll give you a quick tour of what I have been doing and what I'm going to be doing okay now I'm feeling slightly lazy tonight, so I'm going to hold the camera while I do this one. So you're going to have to bear with me, because I'm going to cut and open and hold the camera all at once. It's probably not the best idea. Now this parcel has come all the way from Germany. From one of my favourite uh, cities, uh, the City of Lights, which is actually being rebuilt at this very moment, which is exciting. So uh, there's been good progress there, although... Uh, he's going to hit the same problem I've got, which is needing a bazillion bricks to do certain things. So, what do we have in here? Let's pull this out. Bubble wrap! Yes, needed that. <laughs> Kidding. Here we go. Let's put that to one side. Let's start with this one here. I love this postcard. I am so jealous of this. So, yep, you can guess who this is from. Brixenville. Now he sent me this a little while ago. I need to apologise I haven't opened it sooner. As I said, I haven't done a city update and I wanted to do him justice by actually opening it in my city. Um, I'm a big fan of his work and some of the stuff that he does and uh, I, I, I'm going to have to uh, use the marshmallow man that he uh, has in his city, which I think he got the plan to. He sent me where he came from. I can't remember the name of it now, but yeah, I just loved his old city and I cannot wait to see what he does in the new one because he's a very creative builder. So what have we got? Hi Greg, I'm happy about our Sigfig exchange. Uh, yep, he's getting one from me, it's in the post. <clears throat> and glad that mine has finally can finally explore your city with its various trains. I'm also looking forward to receiving yours as well so he can join the BrickTubers tourism group. All the best, Stefan from Brixenville. So here is Mr. Brixenville himself in Studsburg finally. Hooray! Now I'm going to have to find him a good home but it's good to have him finally here. He also very kindly sent me a uh, Lego Movie 2 minifigure. We've got Rex the Danger with his uh, blue baby blue raptor here. I love these baby raptors. I actually just got one recently, which isn't one of the baby, uh, one of the blue ones. It's one of the normal ones. Which uh, thank you so much, Bricksonville, and uh, look forward to having little GJ Bricks in your city very soon. Okay, so I'll start this city update over here in the Ninjago district because it's actually the area that has changed the least other than being used for kind of storagey bits at the moment. Um, my plans there haven't really changed. I still do want to do the mountain area there with the temple on it and things like that. I actually had a crazy idea that I was going to run a siding underneath that mountain there and put it over onto my storage shelves here and have like a mini shelf. But I've realised that cheap Ikea shelves I got actually don't have any holes here so I can't actually make a mid-level there. It would have been perfect. I could have put two two train lines on there, built like a proper shed, had that as a storage area. Ah, it would have been great. There's the uh, Hogwarts Express with my changes. Uh, I'm very proud of this train. I'm looking forward to doing some more changes to that one. We'll come back to that one very soon though. Uh, over here the theme park area. Now I've got big plans for this area, but I think I'm going to start small. Uh, I actually have the grey roller coaster, the pirate one, which what I had the idea to do was actually put it here 
and then build up over the top of it and then put the carousel and ferris wheel on top of it if that makes sense so then what i could do is effectively make like a pirate's lagoon for the roller coaster i thought would be absolutely awesome require an absolute bucket load of bricks but it will look superb so i'm going to keep that idea in mind and probably come back to that and do that but i'm going to just work on just putting a, um, the carousel and things and building out the the ride you've got my little um my little ride i made out of the christmas train over there as well if you haven't seen that one the video is in the corner now um the train station is gonna get rebuilt i've actually got the jurassic world um, Lockwood estate set which has so many good colors I think for building a station so that will be the foundation for that one and then I can build out all the platforms and things like that so that will sit in that corner there where I always planned it to be it'll be in a nice little building over there I think I'm gonna go with a kind of English style Great Western Railway um, kind of look for the building I think that could be good fun oh look we've got the uh, piranha bot over here he's fighting the uh, the big dude from Infinity War who name I can't remember and there's a silly policeman in the middle there who's uh, yeah I'm not sure if he's hoping to break that up there it looks like there's a guy's brought his music along as well he's uh, getting ready to watch a good fight going on there and uh, not to mention Emma's art studio there ready to paint the whole scene <laughs> uh, I've got what's left of my police station by the way which is the prison there that's probably all going to come apart now down here in the residential area I've been having a bit of a play and a bit of a think with this one and this relates to something I'm going to tell you about the city area in a minute as well I'm going to move to brick built roads that's right I'm not going to use road plates now I think I've mentioned that before now you can see down here I'd like to say for the record this is not my doing this uh, this tiling here at the moment Joss came in here and decided to lay all the tiles I started playing with down one day when I was at work um, but what my theory is is there's going to be a, a, a sort of main road along here probably just a 14 studs wide um, I think I'm going to go with black I was weighing up between the the blue gray and the black but the blue gray is used for pavement so we'll go with the black um, and then over here what I wanted to do was actually build like a series of roads through here so you can see like there, there's a road there there'll be a driveway here there's a road through there in front of Emmett and uh, Lucy's house things like that so it becomes a bit more interesting rather than just being straight roads I thought it could be a lot of fun uh, over here is probably still going to be the Flintstones house I'm not sure undecided I'm thinking that would be a good one uh, now cargo area here um, I've started working on a um, little security office to go there uh, I think I've been weighing this one up in my mind and I think I'm probably going to lose one of these sidings here so I can shift everything across that way and that will give me more space on this side to do I want to do a bit of like something to support the harbour area um, I haven't really got much of a harbour area, but I want to imagine I have a harbour area. I would love to have a harbour area. If you want to see a good harbour area, go and have a look at Robin Hood Bricks. His um, harbour area is really, really good. Um, I really like his channel. He's a new, he's a new builder. He's going to go great places. He's um, a wonderful style to his videos. And I'm waffling again. Let's talk about my city. This is my city. <laughs> so that's what I think I'm going to do there. Is I think I'm going to do that one. Let me know in the comments if you agree with that or not. It's one less train line. No. But it means I have more space to do things. I can probably make the area around here a bit bigger as well. And turn it into a proper train work like I want to do. I'm going to have to find some more siding spaces somewhere. Because I want lots more trains. So I'm going to have to figure that out. That shelf is... I might have to just drill holes in that shelf and do it. Yeah, Get my drill out. There we go. Look, I've got Brixton very wanted to play with the trains. I've got him working down in the uh, the cargo area already. <laughs> He's not going to stay there, really. Um, we've got these crazy builders down here who are uh, doing all kinds of things. It's one of my new cement mixers, which I haven't talked about yet, which I will do a video on. Ha! <laughs> yep, I, you guessed from my previous video I like cement mixers. Um not a lot going on here now we've got the uh, the fishing shop is in progress there that's going to be very snug through there because on that side it's supposed to be Ninjago um, city docks as well so I'm actually going to have to put another plate on top of this table somehow to support that extra space I'm going to need and somehow still be able to get over here to get to that area <gasps> I'm going to have to lose some weight I think <sighs> or get the kids no I'm going to have to lose some weight <laughs> 
Uh, up here, now this is an area that's uh, not changed a huge amount at first glance until you get down here obviously, which I will talk about in a minute. So back here, I've been thinking about this this week and what I think I'm going to do is raise those ones, oh, I don't know, 8 to 10 studs, I don't know, 8 to 10 bricks, undecided yet. Uh, build out another bit because I've got some space there where I can get another 32 plate in. So that way I can do kind of them, a little bit of a walkway and then another line of buildings in front of it. This roadway is all coming up and it's going to be replaced with brick built roads. So that way I can have road, road and a bit in the middle. Uh, that way I can also do some lanes on the side here. Squeeze as much as possible in. Now I've got the Sanctum Sanctorium there. That is going to be dismantled and rebuilt into a mock. I have a second one of that set, so I'm going to build it into something actually substantial. Uh, over on this side, now the park area there, I think is probably going to go, unfortunately. But it's going to move over here into this area in the middle here, which is why I want to do that one. So, yeah, the park will be in the middle here in between the roads. That way I can move the hospital over here. And that way the hospital can be expanded because I've got a second one of those. I'm going to rebuild. Uh, I'm going to main that one into a proper building. Um, that gives me that. So that gives me more space for more buildings over here because I've got the brick bank to put in still as well. And I do want to get the diner and the corner garage, which might mean that my petrol station has to go at some point. No! Um, I'm just, I'm not sure. Or I'm going to have to do something really super smart with that and move it somewhere somehow. Don't know how that's going to work. Ghostbusters HQ, still love it there, not moving that. Uh, now down here we have the Studsburg City Spaceport with the Area 51 test site as I've now named it. If you haven't seen that one, check out the video, it's linked in the corner. I'll be doing another update to that one soon, hopefully this weekend in fact, but we'll see how we go. <gasps> you can hear me talking about this, it gives me some energy back, it's just like when you're really sick, it's getting into, anyway, no one digress about that one. But what I'm going to do is, the rocket is, I, I really love the rocket over the edge there. I was talking to JC about this and he said it was ridiculous. I said, yeah, but it's a Lego city, it's meant to be fun like that, I think that's really cool there. What I'm actually going to do is move it to here. And then what I'm going to do is I've actually got the other rocket set to build, the bigger one, the assembly one in fact. So what I'm going to do is, this is going to change again, I've got some ideas. Read the comments on this video and you'll see what I'm going to do to this one. There you go, now you've got to watch it and read the comments if you haven't yet. And then what I'm going to do is probably this whole side here, I don't want to just do two, I think it needs the three. I don't think it'll work with just two will become the assembly facility here. So that means this whole area becomes like rocketry assembly. I can rework the um, the launch tower thing from the um, the assembly set and make it actually, you know, a crawler that crawls down here to the launch site here, rebuild the launch thing here. So any trains going under here will just get like incinerated whenever there's a launch. But don't you think that would be quite cool? Having like the, the facility here? I think it would. Um, we've got a T-Rex being transported through the city there. It looks like Rex is there. Is he looking for a new recruit? He's got a Raptor with him as well. Ooh. Oh, there's another cement mixer. Yeah, I managed to get all three of the cement mixers. I'll do a video on that, like I said. But Now, what I was also thinking was under here at the moment is storage. No envelopes for sig figs going out. I haven't posted them because I had an issue with Australia Post. Now what I'm thinking is under here, I want to do a kind of subway station or something over here. I might squeeze a siding in or something over here just because I need it. And what I'm also thinking is I've got the Iron Man Hall of Armor could go under here. What do you reckon? That would be quite cool. And then having some sort of like, you know, I can't actually get the... Um, his house up here, I haven't got room for it, but having the Hall of Armour under here would be quite cool. I could like make it something like out of Iron Man 1. I always loved that kind of driveway thing. That could be really good fun coming out this way, which would be quite appropriate with the rocket as well. So, I think that would be good. Um, and then I'm trying to think what else I can put under there. I've got, a, I've got one of the mining sets as well that can go under there. So, I start to use this area and stupid stupid idea and I, this one wouldn't work because I really don't have space for this one but the Stranger Things set having the upside down ah, it would be so cool but I don't have space for that one so sadly maybe I could do it over here I don't know anyway 
that is my update for the moment. That's the GJB update to Studsburg. A few things have happened. There's a lot of things I haven't touched. You can see, like, I've still got the city gathering there. It's very poor form. I just haven't had a chance to adjust it. I can't actually get down there at the moment. There's stuff in the way. This is what my room has been like. It's been used for storage. So, making excuses. I've been making some little sets, like there's another Emma. I've got lots of Emmas in my city suddenly. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, you get an idea, I'm, I'm going places with what I'm trying to do. Um, I just realised I've left like, rubble in loads of places. <laughs> Silly mucky me. I'd have been kicked off Lego Masters for that. And if you haven't seen the Australian Lego Masters, make sure you watch it. And good luck to anybody who's going for the uh, US one, by the way. It's such an awesome show. I'd love it. I was going to go for season two here, but I really can't take the time off work at the moment. Anyway... That's enough. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, tell me off for not updating often enough and neglecting my city. If you think what I'm talking about doing is good and actually motivate me to do it because I've got to get on with it. I can't let my city lie fallow like it's been for the last little while. Uh, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and uh, don't forget to give my channel uh, the video a like so YouTube knows you enjoyed it. Now here's a couple more videos I think you will enjoy. Thank you for watching guys.